So the first time I saw him was at the annual city festival at the end of the plaza on uh, Punker Hill, also known as the Island of Misfits. Um, it's like a mound of black leather and army surplus jackets and boots and spiky egg white hairdos and mohawks and second generation exploited and minor threat and sex pistols patches and stuff. Basically a haven for the misunderstood, punky, rocky, gothy, what with me types. And, uh, and there he was, like right in the middle of it all. Um, oversized yellow foam rubber cowboy hat, and pink plastic Toys R Us pistols and holster. Off-white dashiki uh, shirt and tattered bell-bottom jeans. Leather feet. Raleigh cigarette finger stains. You know, he was an island within an island, and I just kind of had to know more. So, I, uh, I sat with him for hours just trying to get a bearing on his beautiful insanity. Every third inquiry was met with, you know, an eloquent but unusual response, and, you know, the subsequent exchange, it kind of warranted continuing the conversation because he was, he was interesting. Uh, of course, the other two thirds of my efforts were dismissed while he took in the constant flow of the festival crowd all around us. Uh, a raging river of multicultural music, art, food, families. Uh, all of this was his Walkman at full volume. I think it was Foreigner playing through the headphones. And I asked maybe, you know, maybe you can turn it down so we can talk. And he replied, can you hear me? And I said, yes. He said, well, then it's fine. He never really pretended not once to be able to organize all this chaos that was going on around us. He just unapologetically chose which pieces to focus on. Well, you know, after a few hours, we seem to have kind of found our stride, found our rhythm, kind of settled into it, and we're having these intermittent conversations, uh, flipping back and forth between the chaos and the focus. And then, just kind of out of nowhere, he seemed to become a little unsettled and disturbed. And I asked him what was wrong, and he just blurted out, peanut parents and syrup. And then he looked at me like I would know what that means. And and then he said, do you, have any, do you have any batteries? So basically his, his Walkman was running out of power and he just needed batteries. So before I could even turn and ask one of our fellow punkers for some double A's, he grabbed my face with both hands. And then for the first time in the entire conversation, he gave me his complete focus and attention completely present and calmly said, we will never know world peace until three people can simultaneously look each other straight in the eye. Should the oceans rise? Should the sky come falling down? Should the islands tremble? Our bed.